This method is a little bit tedious. We have to to choose a system of axes x and y. We orient them like this positively. Oh. Now the method consists of finding the component of the, the force F F along X and along Y and to multiply this components by the component of the force. So it will be for example for a force it will be Fx that means the component of the force along X times dy the distance from the Y axis plus the force along the component of this force along Y times the distance to the X axis. Now, now to start the calculation, I have to place the my system of axes x and y at the point O. I place here O. So my x is here. My axis x here and the y axis is the point okay. my point O is here my road is 3 meter 3 meters ok now dy dy is this distance in fact along y I have to from o is dy is here all right and dx is along x is this in fact this distance from here to here Now I have to, I've got my dx and dy. Now I have to find my fx and fy. fx is the component of the force along x. Okay. The component of the force along x, the x axis which is parallel to this one, is f equal 5 times the cosine of 45 degrees and the vertical component is 5 sine 45 now I write everything here I start first by calculating dy so dy, dy is this distance the angle here is 30 degrees that means this dy equals 3 sine 30 3 sine 30 my dx is 3 and this this is the distance dx which is here which corresponds to the cosine of 30 D, which is 3 cosine 30 Fy Fx Fx is the component along the, the horizontal axis which is here 
is 5 cosine 45. 5 cosine 45 degrees. Now, Fy, which is the component of the force F along Y, the vertical axis, which is 5 sine 45. Now, all what you have to do is to write now to add everything. Fx, which is 5 cosine 45 times dy, which is 3 sine 30 plus Fy, which is 5 sine 45 times dx, dx is 3 cosine 30. And that, just double check, 5 cosine 45, 3 sine 30, plus 5 sine 45, 3 cos 30. The answer now, if you put this into your calculator, you will find 14.5 kilo, kilo newtons. The same value that we found previously by using the met method, the R method. Uh, so, kilonewtons per times meter. Okay, this. Thank you.